Here's a quick look at the UEFI BIOS through ASUS. Uh, this first screen here is the easy mode screen where uh, it has just the quick options here, power saving, normal, and then the optimal, your boot priorities, and then your just general little things like temperatures and voltages and whatnot. And then you have the option to go to the advanced mode here. Under the advanced mode is where we get all the extra features. Um, the main tab here and then you have the AI tweaker that lets you set uh, your speeds for your turbo ratio, uh, voltages, um, adjust the EPU and TPU um, instead of doing it through your OS having it set here. And then under the advanced tab, we have CPU configuration, which allows your, you know, CIE, C1 E mode, C3, C6, um, your cores, etc. System agent, and this is where you can actually do the uh, graphic configuration for the onboard uh, Intel HD Graphic 3000. Um, you can set the boot priority, uh, the memory shared through the integrated graphics. Um, render standby and then the iGPU multi monitor and this is where when you use the lucid virtue you need this on PCH configuration for the high precision timer SATA configuration where you can change the SATA modes USB configuration to turn the legacy on and off and USB 3 support on and off Onboard devices such as turning on and off the Bluetooth, the 1394 controller, your audio, um, Marvel storage controllers, your other storage controllers, through USB 3.0 controllers, and your LAN. APM for your power modes. And then this tab here does your monitoring for your temperatures motherboard, CPU, fan speed. You can turn the Q controls for the fans on and off. It also show you your running voltages and your anti-surge. The boot tab here will let you do all the normal little boot features, uh, the on-screen logo, numlock status, set up your boot options. And then they have the tools for the Easy Flash, the OC profile, and the SPD information. And this is the UEFI BIOS utility through ASUS for the P8Z68 V Pro motherboard.